Abend, Sir. See, it was a sheer accident which uh, resulted in my taking to law. I was doing my BSc physics in the Madras Christian College. But then I fell ill and could not take my final exam. But at the same time, my father, late N.K. Lambiar, had argued the A.K. Gopalan case. I hope uh, all of you know about it, about the case. A.K. Gopalan was the first big constitutional case argued in the Supreme Court of India immediately after the constitution came into force. That related to preventive detention. And the case went on for over a month. And the newspapers were reporting the case questions and answers, questions put by the judges and the answers, day after day. Therefore, he became a very well-known lawyer overnight. And he realized that there was nobody in the family who had taken to law. Therefore, since on account of my health, I could not complete my BSc, he asked me, would you like to join a law course? I said yes, and that's how a sheer accident I became a lawyer. See, uh, at the different levels of courts, there are different methods of uh, preparation. I practice only in the Supreme Court of India. Fifteen years back, I stopped going to the high courts or to any tribunal. Therefore, so far as the work in the Supreme Court is concerned, it is qualitatively totally different. You have the judgment delivered by a trial court, a judgment delivered by the high court, and then the case comes to the Supreme Court. Therefore, uh, you have the advantage of judgments having been delivered, on pleadings having been prepared by good lawyers at the lower levels, on uh, documents having been filed, and based on that, you argue the case. Everything is there already. You have now to pick up questions of law of importance and put it to the Supreme Court judges. Now, that is not the work which a trial lawyer would do. Suppose uh, a client comes to you for filing a case in a subordinate court. Now, you have to know as to how to decide, first of all, as to what sort of case do you file? Where do you file it? What are the reliefs that you ask for? and look into the documents and evidence that he can produce and then decide as to whether there is a case for filing. You should never, never, never advise a client to file a case unless he has a reasonable chance of success. The reason why I say that is that in India, the trial court takes seven to eight years to dispose of a case. High court similarly. Supreme Court also. Now what is the result of that? The original plaintiff or complainant etc. may not be there at all. He would have passed away. Therefore, you have to carefully scrutinize the documents and uh, listen to him and decide whether to file a case. And thereafter you should learn the art of examining witnesses and cross-examining witnesses. And this is essential both in criminal cases as well as civil cases. You have to decide whether you are going to stick to criminal uh, law or civil law. Normally, people specialize in one or the other. Therefore, uh, all this would be the requirement so far as a lawyer who just starts his practice is concerned. See, the problem is this. The, there's a limit on the number of cases which a senior can handle. And if he recruits uh, juniors, when he does not have sufficient work to allot to them, they will be frustrated. And so far as you are concerned, 
you will wonder as to why did you ask that person to join you. But if I were need, need of a junior, I would take one who has an excellent background of law and jurisprudence. I give them a brief to study and then ask them as to what is a question of law. How would you tackle it? What would you put over? Now, with that I know as to whether they have a good background and whether they have a jurisprudential approach to the case. Then I would take that person. But very rarely, I can't uh, take more than four or five because uh, the sixth and the seventh would have no work at all. See, I'm not so sure that you are right in that, that uh, you need context for internship. Now, I take two interns every month. But if somebody speaks to me, a lawyer especially, I take them without asking questions, even if I don't know the lawyer. That will be the third and I stop with the fourth. Now, or if somebody rings me up, I say, you send your biodata to the secretary in charge. I have a secretary who looks after the interns. Now he has a diary, for he tells him that up till September all the slots are full. Therefore if you want uh, October or December or anywhere later, you can uh, uh, join. Now I don't even know who is taken and who is not taken. If somebody speaks to me personally, I tell my secretary, please take them. But otherwise, uh, and that need not be a person I know, but otherwise I say write to the secretary. And he straight away takes them if there is a stop. There is no problem at all. And I pay them a small stipend. See, today I find the national law schools and uh, law schools like the ILS, Symbiosis and so on, they turn out to graduates who follow the case study method, who have done internship, who have attended courts, and therefore they are able to stand on their own feet the moment they graduate. Therefore the need for a senior is not so great nowadays. And uh, if you have well wishers in your own uh, town from where you come, and you are practicing in a high court for example, they would send you work. You stand on your own feet and argue. I have seen them do that in the Delhi High Court and even the Supreme Court young lawyers are doing extremely well.